Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're gonna talk about when to do abs in your program. If you've ever seen one of my programs, I don't really program a whole lot of ab work, but if you've ever seen somebody work out in the gym, probably about 50% of them are doing ab exercises. Now this stems from people thinking that if I do ab exercises, then I'll get a lean tummy, and that doesn't really work hardly at all. It works a little bit, um, but not really. A lot of people have, you know, thicker guts just because they're more stressed and that's where they store their, their body fat. Men in general store more body fat around the belly. And so they are generally not going to look as lean. Um, so when are you going to do ab exercises? So I, in general, I think people do too many ab exercises. I think people spend too much time on ab exercises. I think they're very useful and I like to use them to make sure your mobility is on point to make sure your joint positions are, are really nice and play really well together because you know what we notice is that if you arch your back you lose the ability to rotate your shoulders to lift your arms overhead to rotate at your hips and so your squat gets worse and your bench press gets worse and you start to shrug up when you do your rows and all sorts of stuff like that so i like to use ab exercises to prevent that bad stuff from happening it's not that terrible. And even if you do your ab exercises, just how I say to do them, it will come back. So it's just something that you're always gonna have to do to keep your body kind of intact. But in general, I think people are overusing them. Now, when do I use them? Well, I like to put one or two ab exercises in the you know beginning of the workout. There might be, you know, you might be able to argue that I'm making them all kind of ab exercises where your midsection has to kind of rotate like your salsa dancing. It's got to, you know, bend like a salamander walks. Do 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 Look at my neck. It doesn't bend. Oh, geez. OK, we'll keep we'll keep working on that. Um, yeah, sorry, me. Anyways, I like to put some in the warm up because then it gives me that mobility stuff that we were talking about. But I also like to put it at the end of the workout. Now, there's two reasons for that. One is the mobility stuff. I think you need a lot of experience with it. I think you need a lot of practice with it because I think a lot of the things that we do in our daily routines and even in our workouts steal that mobility. If you push yourself really hard, your back is going to arch, you're going to start holding your breath and you're going to lose your mobility. That is just a fact of life. If you sit down all day, the same thing is going to happen. Right. So we got to figure out another way to do this. Um, I like to just throw in extra, you know, ab volume at the end to compete with that stuff. And that will help restore some of that mobility and help mitigate the negative effects of exercise. Now, what else is when I do heavy lifting, a lot of it is posterior chain based. It's stuff that is on the back side of your body, the posterior side of your body, um, and your abs are on the front side of your body. So the those backside muscles get really good at turning on and stuff, but the front side of muscles don't really get a whole lot of training. They don't get a whole lot of load. They don't get a whole lot of strength training. So I like to just throw something in there that's kind of challenging for that to help some of that stuff, you know, make it so that it's, you know, we're coming back to the mobility thing again, but I just, I want to mitigate the negative effects of exercise. I want to let you, you know, be more relaxed and more free throughout the rest of the day. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, ab stuff, quick summary, ab stuff. I like to put a little bit in the warm up to get you, you know, going and get you free and loose. And I like to put it at the end of the workout because most of the workout has probably done kind of the opposite, even though if you do a lot of those exercises that we're normally doing really, really well, then you do feel your abs. But that is a conversation for maybe 400 other videos that I've already made.